To finish off this year, usually this is my super dead time, but I have an important shoot coming up next week. Next week, I will be in Orlando, Florida, photographing the Under Armour All-American football game and the festivities that surround it for the entire week. With this shoot and with it being the end of the year, it's time to upgrade some gear. But I didn't buy a new camera, I didn't really do anything big, but I bought some new accessories for some different style shots that I wanna be able to get. And one of these things that I bought will get me a shot like this that'll be super unique to have overall. Starting off, kind of a boring thing, but I bought a new shotgun microphone. This is the Rode NTG, and this one right here is really nice for two reasons. Reason number one, you can charge it with USB-C, so you're not going and buying those different D batteries. I forget what the batteries were that my other battery-powered shotgun mic took, but it's really annoying. Whenever it dies, you can't just charge it. And also, you can change the levels very subtly on the microphone. This is just a professional grade version of the Rode video mic that I was using before. A little upgrade, it's not too, too expensive, but it is pretty pricey. I think it's coming at 300 bucks roughly. And this is long overdue. It'll be great for run and gun, getting reactions of the players. Number two, and this will come with the next thing that we'll talk about, I got a little, looks like a Swiss Army knife, but I got a camera multi-tool. This is from Small Rig. All it has is different size Allen wrenches for tripods, screwdrivers, little plates where you can screw in your tripod plates. Simple, simple thing, but instead of having all the Allen wrenches in my bag, this will now fill in for all of those. Biggest thing I probably bought was I upgraded my Ronin, finally. If you've been watching, you know that I use a Ronin S, typically the original Ronin S I used until I bought this, but I got the RS3 Pro. The main reason that I got it and upgraded from the Ronin S is that the Ronin S was starting to fade on me and the motors weren't strong enough for whenever I wanted to mount my camera vertically. Now, I only unboxed this thing yesterday, so I can't dive into what I like, what I don't like. I did mess with the motors and make it very low sensitivity, how I like it, so that you don't get those abrupt stabilizer movements. I like that the motors all lock into place. This is something that I haven't had, and it's very, very nice to have. And off the top of my head, another first impression great thing is that the plate has a quick release and it's designed to be a quick release. So you put the plate that's here on the camera and then you keep the one on the stabilizer. This plate actually fits on my ProMaster tripod, so I don't even have my usual tripod thread on right now. I have the Ronin plate that works on my tripod, so I won't be switching back and forth. Overall, really excited to use this. Next up, two boring things. We have a memory card case. This is from Rugged ProMaster. It does feel kind of cheap, if I'm going to be honest, but keeps my different memory cards in here. This one has a CF Express Type B. This is where I will store my R5 cards. We got micro SDs, SDs. This will be really nice to have. And with that, I got a 128 gig memory card. For the games, we might be swapping cards. If I capture a play, I might be giving it to somebody immediately to go edit. So I don't want my camera to slow down. Got a second CF Express card. So now I have a 256 gig card and a 128 gig card. Second to last new thing that I got is a little simple hot shoe mount that goes to a quarter inch thread. This is for if I want to mount my 360 camera on top of my R5 or if I want to put a light on top of the R5. This is just a super simple small thread that gives you the versatility of mounting things on top of your camera. Now, my favorite thing that I bought, the thing I was most excited for, no it's not a lifting belt, but it does go around your waist. First off, it will go with a 360 camera. This Insta360 X3 is what I'll be using, and you screw it right on to the front of the belt. Whenever you have it all screwed on, try and turn it so that the screen's facing me. Whenever you have it screwed on, this is what it looks like. And now, audio might sound bad here, but just bear with me. You'll go here now, you just put it around like a normal belt, simple Velcro, 
and now it's attached to my waist so I can move pretty freely. Now I will extend the stick, the selfie stick, start recording, and now it'll get me this unique perspective. So I can spin around and it's gonna track me. I can walk a little bit, back up, but the real idea comes whenever we put it on a quarterback that is part of the game. So it'd be more of a practice because you can't be running around with this thing, but think about it. Quarterback's right here, takes a snap, drops back, throws it, tracks me just like that. Throws it again, tracks me right like that. Take a snap at the camera, dances around a little bit, throws the ball, ball goes straight past the camera, and this thing is going to be sick. It's gonna be really, really cool. So that's all, those are all the accessories that I am buying for the Under Armour All America game. I'm really excited to shoot this event. I'm gonna be putting out some really cool sizzles from this event, and um, yeah, gotta buy some new things to make the videos look different, so that's exactly what I did. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next year. This will be my last video of the year, and uh, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.